Lots of brake line, you should back it off. We've got reds in the distance. What we've got to look at here? Let's pick out the best lane. It's a shopping trolley moment, isn't it? You're on a motorbike. You don't want to be sat at the back if you can help it. But the problem you've got as well is if you're going to come to a halt, there's cars approaching from the back. So we're going to do that backing up procedure, which I love. And it's just slowing any cars down behind before you run out of space at the front. And it's creating that gap front and back that you can exploit when you need to. The car behind is now at a reasonable pace. If somebody does decide to go into the back here, at least you've slowed them down and they're not doing 80 k's an hour. I'm going to back him up now. I'm just looking at the gap there. I'm not sure with my panniers that I've got enough to squeeze in there. I don't need to worry about it now. I've got the guy behind. If you look, at, look there, slow down. So then I can exploit this position at the front. I'll leave a gap. And I controlled everything front and rear there. And that's what I mean when I refer to things as backing somebody up. It has very many different meanings to some people.